My name is Major Sean Cockrell and I'm the Operations Officer for 2-4 Infantry. Growing up, I've always been active. Uh, I always played at least one or two sports, you know, soccer, football, basketball, baseball, uh, ever since I was, you know, from the age of four and all of the way through high school and into uh, my time at West Point. So I've al always been active and always enjoyed uh, the physical side of, of life uh, to include not only in the gym or sports, but outside hiking, camping, uh, things like that. So I was introduced to CrossFit uh, during my senior year at West Point in 2007. Um, before then, I was just mainly a gym goer, doing standard Army PT, uh, getting ready for APFTs, uh, training in the field. And the one thing that I really liked about CrossFit was that it was, it was a challenge. Uh, and at the same time, it was a competition, but usually just with yourself to get better. And since then, I've... Uh, incorporated into all of my workouts to help me in my military job and my personal life and have been strictly following it for probably the last seven years. I'm CrossFit Level 1 certified. I got that certification in 2015. Uh, after receiving that certification, I opened up a CrossFit gym in Pennsylvania with an old soldier of mine. Uh, since then, uh, we have uh, passed the gym off to some local ownership. Uh, but it is still up, running, and thriving. Uh, while I was assigned to West Point as the infantry branch rep, I also served as the CrossFit Black and Gold officer in charge and the CrossFit coach for that team. The transition from the APFT to the ACFT is a relatively smooth one given my background with uh, CrossFit. The ACFT incorporates a lot of functional movements performed at high intensity, which is exactly the methodology that CrossFit follows and that it teaches. So the transition for me should be pretty smooth, uh, and I look forward to that test being of record for the military. And I think overall, the Army will uh, get better as far as physically and being prepared to fight in its future battles. So what I've learned from CrossFit as far as being a leader and being able to lead a formation of soldiers, particularly in the infantry, is that CrossFit teaches the, the basics. You have to start at the basics and then you can progress uh, to higher levels. Uh, so for them, it's mechanics in your movements, consistently performing those mechanics, and then you can add in intensity. And in the Army and in the infantry, that's what we do. That's where we start. We start at the individual skills for all of our soldiers. We get them to master those skills, and then we progress through collective level training. Um, and so I can use that same methodology as a platoon leader, company commander, uh, operations officer in an infantry battalion to help lead my formation to success. I think the most difficult event on the ACFT is gonna be the two mile run at the end. So after the other five events, which are performed at high intensity, uh, your body is going to, uh, it's going to be tired and you're gonna to have to give it your all to, to max that event. Uh, and the Army just lowered the running standard from 12 minutes and 45 seconds to 13 minutes and 30 seconds after the two years of testing throughout the uh, formation because they saw a significant drop in run times due to the cumulative effect of the ACFT events. So my tips for the uh, two mile run on the ACFT are you're going to have to run when you are tired in your training program. Traditional Army PT, you typically do a run only day and then the next day you would focus on push up sit up improvement, upper body endurance, etc. So now you're gonna have to incorporate running into your workouts so that you're not just running on fresh legs, but you're running on tired legs with a tired upper body, a tired midline in order to increase your endurance and have that same effect and be comfortable with it when you hit test day for the ACFT.